scene of a recent house that burned, and we're going to talk about the fire cause determination with our arson investigators. I've been a firefighter for approximately 25 years with Los Angeles Fire Department for 18, approximately 18 years. I was intrigued on how they figured out certain things, how, how fire burns and different patterns and the fire, how it started. He's amazing. He is he's, he's spot on. He's, he's, he's really good. I'm amazed that every time I work on this, how does this dog do this? It's just amazing. He's trained to find uh, any hydrocarbon accelerants. He's able to pinpoint an area if they used accelerants. Either they didn't use accelerants or the fire was started uh, just by open flame to the available combustibles. He's made it easier for every investigator that calls us out. Just recently out of Ventura we had a uh, homicide that we responded out to um, and helped us out tremendously. Not just us, but Ventura County Fire Department. He's a crime fighter, yes. Yeah. He's the best partner I've ever had. You know, he doesn't complain where we eat, he doesn't complain <laughs> where we go. So he's, he's a, definitely a great partner. He likes to solve. He's, he's uh, very quiet in the beginning, but once I put on my pouch, once I, I get ready, he just goes to work. He's, he's very um, uh, excited. He's going to eat because he's a food reward dog. The only way he eats is through me feeding him. And he does about 100 and some alerts per day to get his food in uh, throughout the day. So he has no bowl at home, he gets no treats, um, and um, the, the only time he eats is when I'm training him. And I do that twice a day, seven days a week. 